This is Andy Tube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to regulate the feed throw out on a Singer Model 301. So I'm still working on Oh No here, the Singer 301. And this is the feed throw out. You turn it counterclockwise to lower the feed dog so that you can free motion sh uh, sew or darn and you turn it in counterclockwise for normal feed dog uh, operation. In the beginning of my how to set the feed dog height video I talked about this and I mentioned there was uh, another way to adjust it and I forgot to put that at the end of the video. So that's the reason for this video. And the reason your feed throw out may need to be adjusted or regulated better is when it when it is turned counterclockwise and lowered there is a possibility that the bottom of the feed bar that holds that the that the feed dog is screwed into when it's doing its oscillating down could hit the top of the hook assembly. Now it's real rare that you're going to find this, but if you have this uh, strange knocking or scraping when you when you do throw out the feed, meaning lower the feed dog, it can be a real headache to say, well, what what is happening? So I'm going to show you how the machine should be set. And the chances are very high that yours is fine. But for those that, that it's not, this is the solution. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do is put a couple of pictures in here to show, try and show the parts close up. Because I don't think I can film that close. So the slides will give you an idea of the parts I'm talking about and trying to show you as I go about how how to uh, make the adjustment or set the the proper feed throw out or how to regulate it. So take a look at the slides and then I'm going to readjust the machine to try and show you the adjustments. Okay, it's about the best shot I can get. Um, before you test or uh, make any changes to the regulation, your feed dog should be lowered to the lowest point. So turn the hand wheel towards you and uh, make sure that the feed dog is at the bottom of the elliptical. It's at the low point. Your uh, this is the end of that feed throwout system right there, and make sure that your feed throwout thumb nut is turned all the way to the right or tight all the way in, and then make sure that your stitch regulator is set to six, the length lever, all the way down so that it's sitting on six, the longest uh, stitch. So, um, if you, you, as you saw in the, in the slide, uh, this is the feed throw out stop screw. And this is the head of the screw, which has a little lock nut to keep it at uh, where you set it. And then back here is the end of the screw and where it goes up against um, like the base of the feed bar. 
that goes up to the feed dog. So with the, with the machine with your feed dog lowered all the way and the feed throw out tightened to the right or turned in all the way and the stitch length at six, the space between this little stop screw and this part of the machine right there should be between um, 0 0.002 and 0 0.006 inches. And the idea is that that stop screw is going to prevent the feed dock from coming down so low that the bar and stuff starts messing with the hook. So that's why they call it a stop screw. So I've got my heater gauge out and I've got the uh, 002, 3, 4, 5, and 6 blades. Okay. So I'm just going to start with the 006, which would be the high end of the regulation. And I'm going to try and slip it up there between the end of that stop screw and the part on the machine. Uh oh. It's, it does, no, it won't go in. Okay. So I know I'm not over. I'm below 006. So now I'll change blades to 005 and try and put it up there between that stop screw and the base of the feed bar. It kind of wants to go in. It just barely nudges in, but it won't go. So I'm below 005. Let's see 004, which would kind of be in the middle of the range. Try and get 004 in there. And I can I can get it in there. Okay. So it's it's kind of dragging and scratching on the blade. It's a tight fit, but I can get it in there. So I know it's more than 002. Let me try 003. Now 003 goes in just fine. And uh, yeah, 003 is in there. It's a little bit loose in there. So I would say it's like 00325 or something. Something between 003 and 004 which is fine that that's set in the factory range so I'm done checking that's fine now if yours isn't in that range if it's below point zero zero two or more than point zero zero six space in here uh, then you can uh, adjust the stop screw and what we want to do is loosen the lock nut and then we can turn the screw in or out our feeder gauge and set it to where we want something between 002 and 006 and then hold the screw while we tighten the nut let me get set up for that now to, to uh, make an adjustment on the stop screw we first have to loosen the lock nut and we're just going to use an open end wrench for this one fourth inch one quarter inch uh, wrench and we'll just go in here and uh, get it on that lock nut you won't be behind the camera probably when you do this so it'll be easier for you and it's left to loosen, lefty loosey. And when you do, the screw is probably going to turn too. So don't don't worry about that. Then get a properly fitting screwdriver in that screw, and you can turn the nut more 
to give you a little adjusting room if you want. And then whichever blade you decide between 0 .002 and 0 .006 uh, I'm going to go back to the 3, I think, because that's where it was. Uh, and loosen that, loosen that screw. All right. And get your blade up in there so it's properly in the space between the stop screw and the uh, uh, base of the feed bar here. And hold it as flat as you can and start turning the screw in to the right while you move the blade until you start feeling the screw dragging on that blade. I got a pretty good blag drag on it there. Yeah. So I'm comfortable that that is close to uh, 0 .003, which is in the range. And you can set it, like I said, between 0 .002 and uh, 0 .006. But once you do set it, you're going to want to put your screwdriver back in there to hold the screw in the position you set while you use the wrench to tighten the lock nut to keep it there. And you're going to want to, I'm using my wrong hand on this, you're going to want to tighten the nut to the right. Let me see if I can switch hands here without, without blocking your view. I'm going to tighten that nut to the right while you hold the screw in position and firm it up pretty good. It's a hard working machine. There. Now I've got that uh, lock nut tightened so it'll hold my setting and then I'll take my blade that I use to set the space and make sure that I can still get it up in there good okay now I'm gonna try I don't know how well it'll show in the camera but I'm going to turn that feed throw out thumb nut to the left which would be lowering the feed dog and I'm hoping you'll be able to see this part move and, and that the stop screw will stop it from going any farther. So it's moving, moving. There, it's come to rest on the stop screw. So the stop screw won't let that feed dog come down far enough to bother the hook operation. But what I want to be sure of is that when I do lower the feed dog, that it can lower down below the throat plate or needle plate, which is the whole purpose of it. So let's set the machine upright here. Let me jockey some of my lighting around and, and so forth. Just to test that the machine's going to operate well. Maybe I'll leave the block out. So, can we see the dog? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to turn that left, the, the feed throw out thumb nut, and I have already lowered the feed dog for the testing and setting of the stop screw. So I'm just going to turn the hand wheel towards the front of the machine and make sure that that feed dog doesn't come up above the needle plate, which it's not. And I know it's not going to 
the bottom of it is not going to bother the hook operation because I've set the stop screw in the range. And it's working perfectly. Very good. So, like I said, this is, this is uh, rare that you would have to make that adjustment. But it's real easy to check. You know, you just want to be sure that you're, that you're, uh, let's see if I can get this back up here now. I, I took off the extension table here to give us a better view. So with this turned all the way to the right, and the, and the feed dog lowered to the lowest point, and the stitch length lever set all the way down to six, that's when you check that's when you check the space or gap between that stop screw and the bottom of the feed bar right back here and I can almost guarantee you that it's going to be fine but if you do have a scraping or knocking noise when you lower the feed dogs there's a very good chance that this is out of adjustment and that would be the problem and now you know how to check it and now you know how to readjust it and set it properly Ta -da. that's it that's what I forgot to uh, talk about on the setting the feed height and thanks for watching uh, I hope it was worth your time, and I think in the next video I'm going to...